Well, hello friends. So I have another video for you. Something you may or may not have come across, but in this case, all of my relays are actually locked up. So what that means is if you take your voltmeter here, and I just have it set to DC, and we should know that the common down here plus the NO, which is normally open, should give us no voltage unless the trigger is actually engaged. So in this case, the trigger is not engaged. The relay for the fire drop is not engaged. So none of my triggers are actually connected. So as I put my voltmeter right here, you'll see that I have 26 volts and I should not have 26 volts there. So this is the time to replace your board with a new board. Pretty straightforward, just unplug everything, disconnect your power up here, and then you feel free to just swap it out. But something to uh, notice is, if you look at these little caps, so this one is completely flush, you can see it's kind of flush there. This one, you can see it's about to rupture. I don't know if you can really see it, but in person it's very evident. Let me try to zoom it in, maybe you can kinda get an idea if I move it around here. So see, when you look at this one head on with the flash, you can kind of see all the way around. But this one, you can kind of see it's kind of like concaved, right? So I have a feeling that this, um, this capacitor is probably shorted or something. And it's just either putting too much power through the relays or something, but it's just locking it up. So the new one here, as you can see, if you zoom in again, See how you can see all four of those lighting up? And then here you got all three lighting up. It's just very different, right? When you look at like this one right here. All right guys, so I've got the new board installed and we'll just reconnect the power leg. We'll tighten it up real quick. And we want to make sure our dip switch is set correctly, so we want it to be 24 volts. So that's in the off position for 12 volts. That would have been on, so you always want to just double check that. And then we'll get our voltmeter. And let's meter these last two pins again. So when I touch them, we got no voltage. See, as I touch them, they just kind of wiggle every once in a while. So that's what you want. So now that means it's common, normally open. And then you'll have voltage on your continuous, and then you have voltage on your normally closed. And then when the relay trips, the normally closed will actually open, and then normally open will close. So it'll switch between these two pins. But now, we should be good. So don't forget, you set your dip switches for whatever you want your trigger to relay. And uh, besides that, I'm gonna put this together real quick and we'll be done.